Welcome to the XAR Template Tutorial Lesson 109 for the XAR Web Designer MX Premium Version 8 software. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to create a glossy button. And the reason that I'm making this tutorial is because I had a YouTube viewer request on how to accomplish this task. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is select your rectangle tool and your toolbar, which I already have selected. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle in my workspace. And you want to make sure that the rectangle is roughly about the size of the glossy buttons that I have above. And once you draw that rectangle, you'll see some nodes around that rectangle. And we want to click on the node that's on the right hand side of the rectangle and go ahead and drag that down until you get a rounded rectangle like you see on my screen here. And once you do that, go ahead and hit Control C to copy and Control Shift V to make an exact copy on top. And then let's go ahead and go to our color editor and we're going to change the color to white and then go to your toolbar and select your selection tool and then the bottom right hand resize handle we're going to drag that to the upper left hand corner of our screen until this rectangle is about half the height of the rectangle that's behind it and let's go ahead and click on the middle resize handle on the right side of the rectangle and drag it out like that and then reposition it so that it's about centered from left to right and then for the top edge of the white rectangle, we want it just to have a little space between it and the back background rectangle. And if you don't know what I mean, just look at what I have on screen and your objects that you have in your workspace should look similar to that. So after you do that, let's go ahead and make sure that we have the white rectangle selected and go back to our toolbar and select the, the transparency tool. You hold down the control key and drag downward and make sure that there's just a little bit of fading at the bottom edge of the white rectangle. And I'm going to select the selection tool and I'm going to resize the width of this just a little bit because it seemed a little bit off for, for me. But you should have something like that in your workspace and it should start looking like it's actually reflecting on a shell like type of object. In other words, a glossy button. So once you have that, let's go ahead and click on the background uh, rectangle and hit control C and control shift V and in our color editor let's go ahead and make that somewhat of a medium light gray and I'm gonna go ahead and drag this rectangle down a little bit and have it kind of about there with the other rectangles and hit control shift B and that's gonna push it back one hit control shift B again and it'll place it all the way to the back of all those objects and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the feathering tool and we're gonna give this a slight feathering to make it look similar to the objects that we have at the top and so now we have something that's almost complete. The last thing that you want to do is just go ahead and select your text. And let's go ahead and write whatever we want our text to say. And once you have that written, you're pretty much done. Now you can add a little bit more detailing to this, but I'm going to keep this tutorial short and just say that this is the end of the process. If you have any questions, please let me know. If this tutorial was helpful, don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe. And I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.